have here is traditional moonshine. Now, this is what we're going to be using to fuel our cars. Now, this particular moonshine is about 192 proof, which means it's about 96% ethanol. That goes down smooth. Now, ethanol is the fuel that race cars use, so there is a chance that this could work. However, our cars are far from race cars. They're not tuned up for this kind of fuel. So is this going to be an effective fuel? We're about to find out. First to cruise on the booze, it's Tori's 70s car. I'm driving a 73 vehicle, which, by the way, has a carburetor. Now, a carburetor's job is to mix the fuel and the air together so that the engine runs smoothly. Now, if there's not enough fuel and too much air, the vehicle is going to be running lean, which means it might not run at all. Now, if there's too much fuel and not enough air, the vehicle is going to be running rich, which means it could flood the engine or it could be running hot and smoky. Here we go. This is moonshine in a carbureted car in three, two, one. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, here we go. Yeah! All right. Do it. I think this thing is running on moonshine and a prayer. I think it's just running on a prayer at this moment. Is that stalled? I think it's stalled. Oh! oh. It's stalled. Oh, start it again. I'm not getting away from any cop if I'm driving that car on the moonshine. So after less than one complete lap, man, moonshine in a carbureted car, not the best gas. It's clear the carburetor can't handle the 4% water in the hooch. Three, two, one. Woo, that was a good start. But could a different way of dispersing fuel give the 90s car the edge?